Welcome back, guys, to Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Well, last episode, after dispatching Console Q, we returned to Colony 30, having learned about Alexandria's inescapable past to end another quest before heading over to Colony Iota. There, we started a new quest, Alexandria's birthday. After speaking to her captains to try to discern the out-of-contact chickadee's location, we set out towards Yune Rise to explore and find her. Okay, so our next named opposition... Probably causing us to pulling everyone else as well. Is Crafty Anski. I'm so ready for this. Can't reach. Don't oh, worry, I've got a gun. Now do I let myself die? Knowing that nowhere gets more damage now? It's a tactical death, right? Oh, they didn't actually get behind him when I charged all that way. I don't know any buffs are being spread at this point. But our overall normal damage seems to be good enough. Oh, did I just... Did I just attack every enemy around me? Hmm. No! Miracles do happen. I think we can take this guy out pretty easily. And the fact I can drop full aggro means I should never really take it. Oh, so no one should be more powerful now because Alexandria went down. Right behind him or in front of him? Wow, I took aggro again. Well, Noah should be like 180% power now. Noah should be ridiculous. Never mind, Noah's dead. To my imagination, was this guy wrecking people now? Normal attacks will do me. Revenge impetus. That sounds like a tank trait. Huh? <laughs> wow, Alright, there's a whole lot of dead people over here. We can't leave it like this. Mio passed on the console role to Noah straight away. I don't want to wear these fancy Tridon duds anymore. There's also another dead guy in the distance over there. We've nearly worked our way around to our destination. While also mapping out all this area that I'd failed at mapping before. So I'll take that as a excellent win.
Well, the more we see of the land, the better. There is still another named, if I'm right in saying, though, somewhere near the edge of down there. Can't remember nice. what level the big fish was. But I know it was next to a dead body. Interestingly, the place we need to be is down there. So what purpose does being up here actually serve us? I guess this area was literally just to come around and uh, find those bodies. And kill that named guy. Seems to be about it. I don't think there's anything else around for us to get. Or even to travel to. One named guy for this whole section. Should be time for dinner soon, right? Is that really it? I can't even jump down here to get somewhere good, I don't think. I mean, there is water, but it's liable that... Splat happens rather than we get anywhere, right? So unfortunately, while we got to Yune's Rise, um, we did not actually get to the area we wanted to be. Why is Yuni worried if we'll be alright? I thought everything's totally fine. What do you mean, being in all this black fog? I guess that's the actual real worry here. What kind of place is this? Sequestered Lake, I'll have you know. Kind of expect there'd be a name there, to be honest. No secret hidden pathway through there into a hidden zone. Quest continuance then. Chickadee! It's coming from over there. Wait, she's up there now? you wait. Seems like we'll have to loop around from the right. Then we dash all the way up. I am I am very sad now. So we went the right way first. Of course we did. Yes! Why would it be any other way than that? It's fine, though, because we got a landmark up there, didn't we? I'm pretty sure we did. Let's just map that and then warp up. I'm pretty sure we got a landmark, which means our journey was not wasted. That dead purdy there is uh, where there's a named monster as well. Bath, bath, need bath. Santa, you're not out of bath. Water shortages. Just don't look, it'll be fine. There we go, got the gap. Still a little bit more maps to fill in here and there, but hey, it's looking a lot more filled now for our trouble. I thought I got a landmark up there. I did, phew. <gasps> also, I got the dead body, the dead thing. <laughs> we got two landmark ups there. <laughs> so there was a reason for us to come explore this whole land. We just did it before we actually had to go there. Quite a rare sight. Efficiency? It's funny how the other one's on aggro yet. There we go. One down.
the overfall putting Epo down on our opponents is uh, really ramping up the damage, isn't it? Quite a bit. Dame Alex, but what? I've been looking for you. You had me worried. Oh, you brought everyone. I'm sorry, we didn't know it was supposed to be a secret. Oh, no, it's okay. I'm not angry. I'm actually quite pleased. I was going to give you this. White Milica. I see. Yes, that is rare in this region. Oh, hang on. This is one of them flowers with a meaning in it. And it means... It stands for revealing secrets. I only learned it later, but it's because of how subtly they bloom. Like they're all furtive and shy. You can be pretty stubborn, Dame Alex, so I thought the flower might give you a push. What's this all about? You need to talk to the captains. Properly. But I'm always talking to the captains. Why, just today... Yes, but did you really talk to them? Just because I know you never talk about your actual feelings. I worry about you. I know it's important to keep some information confidential for tactical reasons and all that. But even so, I... I don't want the captains to go to their ends with regrets. <laughs> okay. City girl, put yourself in this much danger for that. You'd never have taken it seriously otherwise. Anyway, I'm the only person in Aeonius who can tell you off. That's an important part of the, of the lieutenant's job. You're right. The reason I came running here about thinking twice is because you're always looking out for me. I find that you're constantly saving me. What are you trying to say here? Well, Chickadee, the thing is... Do you want to hear what I've been hiding from you all this time? Wait, you're saying that you... To the old commander? Have I disappointed you? No. No, I, I finally understand. That's why you were so particular about your captains. They all know, don't they? I was just being careful. Warped methods yield warped results. Anyone who's ever seen Mobius knows that. It's not warped. You're not warped, Dame Alex, and the captains aren't either. You took on a terrible burden for the greater good. I think that makes you strong. It makes you worthy of respect. Chickadee. I became a lieutenant so you wouldn't have to be alone on the journey through life. You always put everyone else ahead of you. I want to be at your side. Support you. And I still want that forever. Don't you feel blessed, Commander, to inspire such feelings? I do. Trust and betrayal are two sides of one coin, and that risk can never truly be eliminated, but... If I have to suffer anyway, I'd rather it be by Chickadee's side. That's how I feel. Now, about my birthday. Oh, I'll take care of all that. I'm taking requests. Ah, good. In that case, please issue an official proclamation announcing that I am in my sixth term. Eh? Uh... And I'll have to tell you the real date. What? Are you sure? You've always kept it so secret. Aren't you the one who disapproved? You said it was cruel to make people worry about my homecoming every birthday. Did I really put it like that? <laughs> We're changing how we live. That means we have to change all our old strategies too. You're terrifyingly decisive. Aren't I? I'll take that as a compliment, thank you. Well, this is all fine by me. I just have one thing to say. Happy birthday, Dame Alex. Thank you, Chickadee. So our quest is complete after a bit of exploration with encouragement from Chickadee and the party. Alexandria made public both for true birthday and a real age of six terms. So that's the state of affairs. That is indeed. I guess we shall now head back. As the Faunus region is even more filled out than before. See if anything else has appeared. Plus, have a bath because my party are complaining about their stinky clothes. Don't you think it's about time for a meal? And food. Angus Castle is liberated at last! We've cleared away the old and the fresh buds of the new are poking up through the soil. That's what it feels like. The new era that Dame Alex had dreamed of is just around the corner. And it may be. Oh, I should probably should have discussed first. Everyone, get some rest. Oh, I can't clean my clothes here. I'll just buy their enemy gold boost. Oh, 
What do we have here? Oh, it rained. Thanks ever so much. That'll clean us. Right then. Should we get a move on? That's how it works, right? Don't you think there's any other quests here at this point? Dame Alex has such dignity. Hard to believe she's only in her sixth term. Yeah, she's just got this sort of leadly vibe, right? So careful and deliberate. Right, I think she's really quite careful about the sort of image she projects to others, you know? And according to Kozali, she's amazing with cosmetics too. Someday I'll have to ask Dame Alex for some secret tips. So that's the state of affairs. Kozali. We're nearly at five star for the colony. Captain Riser was good enough to recount me a vignette of the exploits Dame Alex shared with her captains. I had time to contemplate their actions deeply as we were pounded by the raging torrent at Elsie's spout. Pounded by a waterfall with Riser. No common would, uh, no common will could resolve to cut oneself to the quick like that for one's friends. My admiration for them knows no bounds. You really had a little tete -a -tete under the spout. Oh man, it's such an image. I can't even follow what you're saying. So that's the state of affairs. I want all this laden day. Cause for joy. Dame Alex's homecoming is not so nigh as I once thought. She will tarry on my side for a spell yet. I wonder if... Uh, Soul Hacker is just weak at tank because it has less defensive stats. I don't know. Colonies get destroyed once they reach gold rank. I can't believe it. I'm afraid it's true. Mortifying, isn't it? And we were already silver. One more move and we would have suffered the same fate. It's a spine-chilling thought, all right. One thing I don't really get is that they just kill over when they reach 10 for 8 even at homecoming. Well, that was what's inferred by the weakness that uh, Mia was feeling, right? Whoa, Sequoia! That girl needs to ease off. She's someone who works. She's making me look bad. So this is how she got the Collectopedia doing the rounds. It allowed my comfort zone, though, as a mechanic. That's not to say I'm not interested, because I am. I'm actually hoping she could teach me a bunch. Fingers crossed. Is this another... Person exchange, eh? Hey, listen up. Dame Alex's real birthday was so closely guarded, not even the captains knew how old she was. Only Captain Shell and Riser were just pretending not to know. Looks like they just wanted to see the fuss that Dame Alex got into when she found out they knew. That's just horrible, right? Horrible indeed, because I wanted to see it too. So that's the state of affairs. Wait, had we really not spoken to Chickadee to get that rep up yet? It looks like we are done with Colony Iota for now. You never know what we might do somewhere else, though, that unlocks another quest here. So where to next, you say? Well, in our list of quests that we already had to carry over from previous chapters, Teachers Teachers is listed here, and probably the next part of that is unlocked. So let's go to Colony Gamma. Which needs us to go to the Asia region. Yes, yes, yes. Got to get that right. Which, of course, is where, like, our next destination is, story-wise, too. I haven't been here. Let's see if there's anything else going on. Who's Who needs teaching next? Ain't that the question. I guess I can change my hero as well. But equally, the likelihood of the quest being the actual level to give me uh, experience on our other things. You're in safe hands. Probably not that large. Okay, I guess we check at the billboard first. Oh, I, don't feed it. I guess she didn't get food. Extracurricular lesson. Teacher Mio. Student lottery number... Oh, it's Kyrie. <laughs> Got it all memorized. From a lottery, that's pretty lucky for Kyrie. The people have to make so much noise. Sounds like a fix to me. Let's consider what we know. I was confused as to why Mimi hasn't had any teaching requests so far. But it turns out they're all pulling names out of a sparking hat to decide who gets to. Why would they do that? Well, it's not surprising. They all idolize you. Especially me. As you especially, Mio. Especially Kyrie, I was going to say. Really? I'm not sure that's true. Yes, it is, Mimi. Zakir probably turned it into a lottery to make sure things didn't get out of hand. 
it'd be no laughing matter if a brawl broke out over who gets to be taught by you. You're exaggerating there, Tyon. It looks like the lucky winner of your magnificent teachings was that chick, Kyrie. Apparently so. I wonder what I should teach her, though. How about how to read maps? She's useless with directions. She already did the training for it dozens of times. Wow, she's more geographically challenged than I thought. Uh, well, first I'll just ask her what she wants to do, then I'll decide. Time for some extracurricular lessons. Ugh, let's be off. Just wondering if there's any more information around the colony, or maybe it's probably gated from this. Kyrie! Come be with your idol. Where is Kyrie anyway? Wait, there's no way she managed to get lost inside her own colony, right? I can't deny the possibility. Mio, come on over here! Yeah, I've got you all to myself now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kyrie. Whoops, get a hold of yourself, Kyrie. So, um, Mio, you'll hear out my request today, no matter what it is, right? I want to go somewhere with you and ask you lots of different questions, and then, oh, and then, just relax a little bit, okay? Yes, I'm sorry, I'm just so happy. Well then, let's, uh, let's go right away. Follow me. It's like she doesn't know the meaning of the word relax. I wonder where she plans on taking you. I'll let her lead the way. It's important to respect your junior's autonomy. Sure thing. Where are we going then, Kyrie? So that path I haven't taken? That's up there, I take it. But literally, where are we going, Kyrie? Just take us out somewhere random. Information, Kyrie. Tell me. Oh, I haven't got that over there. How come? Oh, because I couldn't sand walk. Well, I'll wait till we get down to the level with the dude, and then I'll go take it. Why is my silver at 93? Detour. Keep it moving. All right. It's open. Okay. Hmm, the glorious SP. That's what we're truly after. Think how long ago it was we traveled up this path to come to Colony Gamma in the first place. I haven't been that way. Must be high level monsters. Oh, Mio, look at this. There's something on the ground over there. Should we go take a little look-see? <laughs> sure. Come on then, Kairu. This is probably how she ends up getting lost all the time. But it's probably fine just this once, since she has us to watch over her. Alright then, let's take a look. Okay. We're not going to end up teaching her anything in this way, are we? We're just going to go along with the motions. Whoa, wait, what? Oh, not those. <laughs> you quite a sack of dark grapes. <laughs> Look, Mio, there's a ton of dark grapes in this sack. Someone clearly must have dropped it. It has the colony gamma insignia on it. That sounded like a monster. It came from a bed. They might be attacking somebody. Th that sounds bad. Let's hurry and give them a hand. When you say up ahead, which way do you mean? Over down the path. <laughs> Oh, level 62. Okay, we're going up this way. Zakir! Mina! Let's back them up, Kairi. Roger that. So this quest is level 50-ish. <laughs> Oh, 
Don't worry, now we're stronger now. It's all part of my amazing strategy. Didn't you guys just join the fray, by the way? Are we in trouble? I think I'm just getting dived on by like a million birds. Try to heal people up, I guess. <laughs> wow, that went messy. <laughs> Sidestep, perfect. I never thought the day would come that you would be saving us. I'm just glad you two are safe. Oh, did you pick those up for us? Oh, you mean all these dark grapes? These are yours. Yeah, Zakir and I were out foraging for ingredients. But unluckily for us, we bumped into some monsters and dropped them as we ran. So that's what happened. But wait, why were you foraging for food? Isn't that what the culinary team is for? You're always off in your own world. Huh? Don't you understand the state our colony is in right now? We can't expect any supplies from the castle now and our stores are depleting. R really? When the government gets this tough, we can't afford to keep to our separate duties. Everyone has to take some initiative, do their part and make things better again. Ah. Aren't you supposed to be a team leader? Why not try and use your brain for once? Try thinking about what you and your team can do for Colony Gamma. Uh. Anyway, that's enough yapping for now. Nina and I should get back to the colony. Well then, see you later. Yeah, what do you say? Kyrie. Mio. Mm-hmm. In your opinion, how do you think a team leader should be? Maybe I should be more like Zakir. He's smart and considers lots of different things at once. Maybe so. Someone who oversees others might need to be a bit like that. But that's not all you have to be. Everyone has different ideas of what a good leader is. Plus, there are many different ways of putting the work in. Just like Zakir is his own way. Mio. Kairi, how far is our destination? Oh, uh, just a bit further down that way. I see. Mind leading me the rest of the way, then? Yes, of course. So that's the state of affairs. Kyrie's getting a lot to think about, I see. Bear with me a second here. I don't think the quest gets abandoned if I go too far away. <laughs> but this bit of map that's unseen is quite bugging me. There we go. Don't worry, life is good again. No named foe up there. Just troops from the uh, Mobius warning, I take it. Mio! Kyrie, have your blade at the ready and don't even think about leaving our side. Uh, understood. Now spread me some buffs. Going for this wolf first. <laughs> Quick, aggro down, aggro down, aggro down, aggro up, aggro up. <laughs>
Phew, looks like we lost them. You, you're amazing as ever, Mio. That was so flickering cool. You're strong, beautiful, and kind. I respect the flame out of you. No need to flatter me, Kyrie. I'm not trying to flatter you. I'm telling the absolute truth. I think everyone feels the same way. They all wish they could go on adventures with you. That's why I want to be just like you. Kyrie? Uh, Mio, if I may ask, do you really think I'm suited to being a leader? Huh. Why are you asking me all of a sudden? It's just, you probably don't know this, but... Naoki was actually supposed to become the leader of my team. He turned down the role, though. He figured I'd be better suited to it and nominated me instead. I always wanted to be a team leader, so I was over the moon about it, but... You've had enough of it now. Uh, of course I'm still happy about it. It's just... Sometimes I wonder if I was the right choice for the job. Oh, Kyrie. First, we have to get out of here. No complaints, I assume. N nope. Run away from the wolves. Where are we going now? How do we expect to get back as well? Why are there all these level 50 monsters invading this area? Doesn't seem like a good thing, does it? Base of species and all. Hey, that's not your everyday jump. Where are we going, Kyrie? I need an explanation. Here we are, Mio. Wait, this is... After you, Senna, and Tyon disappeared, I came here time after time to look for you. Even after everyone else had given up. Or rather, they probably were just starting to move on and look to the future. But I was sure. I knew in my heart that you were still alive out there somewhere. Kairi. But I can't keep falling back on you for help all the time. I'm supposed to be a leader. Going back to our earlier conversation, why did you want to become a leader? Because. Because it's cool. Cool. I can't explain it very well, but... Well, I've always looked up to leaders. I just wanted to be like them. I see. Do you think depending on others isn't leader-like or something? Huh? Being able to lean on others and accept help is easier said than done. That's because, in a way, it lets others see where you're weak or lacking. Hmm. But you're not afraid to ask your team for help, like Namuki or Zuno. When they answer your call for help, it's a way to bring out the best in everyone, don't you think? And when that happens, your team becomes one. That's why I think you're perfectly suited to being team leader. Mio. Thank you. Sure, you might feel small compared to other leaders like Futs and Zakia, but you're your own person, Kairi. Have some more faith in yourself. You're brilliant as always, Mio. Those words really gave me the warm fuzzies. I feel so much more motivated now. Eh, yeah, sounds like I did a proper job of teaching you then. I'm glad. I feel so restless now. I need to run. Well then, for our final activity, how about a race back to the colony? Sounds good. Last one back's a raw egg. So ends extracurricular lesson. Kairi was worried about what kind of leader she should aim to be, but regained some confidence thanks to Mio. She's sure to grow as a captain now.